when she got on the moon. Uh, what was that first step like? Exciting is the way to put it. It was. Uh, I'm in awe, wonder, excitement. Uh, it's the biggest adventure you can ever imagine. It wasn't very emotional. It wasn't very dramatic. I mean, it's not once like Armstrong. We knew we weren't going to sink out of sight. We knew how to walk on the moon, but it was wonder. You felt right at home. It was the most beautiful desert you could ever imagine. Where we landed, the earth was right overhead and it always stays there. You never, the earth never moves as the, as the sun gets higher in the sky. And you, you, but as you look up in Apollo, you're looking at the top of your helmet because it's like being in a fishbowl. So you never, I, we didn't ever see the moon, uh, the earth from the moon, standing on the moon. The only time I did was when I fell over backwards uh, towards the end of our stay and then you could, the moon was out right out in front of Was that a bit of a scary moment? Oh, it was scary, really scary because the backpack is your life support system. It's got your oxygen, all the plumbing, all the regulators, all the batteries, uh, all the electronics. And if it breaks, you're dead, especially if you spring a big leak. Uh, and so when I fell over backwards, I, it was fearful. And the only time I had a moment of fear, and I realized I got to do something. So I rolled right and uh, broke my fall, bounced on my back, and my heart was just pounding. John Young, my commander, I remember him looking down at me, he said, that wasn't very smart, Charlie. And uh, I said, well, yeah, or you're right, help me up. So he helped me up. And, uh, but my, it, you could tell that I was okay because the pressure was normal. The, all the uh, levels of oxygen were normal, the batteries and all of that stuff. And so I began to calm down. But mission control was very, very angry at this stupid stunt. And uh, no more Moon Olympics and no more high jumps and no more this. Get back inside, guys. So uh, I dropped, uh, right before that, I dropped a picture of my family on the moon uh, that was Charles was seven at the time and his brother was five, almost five. And so we had this family picture and on the back of the picture, we said, this is the family of astronaut Charlie Duke from planet Earth, who landed on the moon in April 72. We all signed it. And I dropped it on the moon. And it's the only family picture ever made it to the moon. We were always looking for what's over the next ridge. What are we going to do here? What are we going to see over here? So this excitement and this adventure of, uh, of seeing the moon in detail was remarkable. It never left us. and. Uh, so we didn't want to come back. Uh, we were so enthralled with the beauty of the moon. We felt right at home, but you knew it was a, that all your equipment had to hold together or you were going to die up there. But you never worried about it. It was always like a sense of belonging. Buzz Aldrin called it magnificent desolation, which it was, but it was one of the most beautiful spots I'd ever seen just untouched, unspoiled, and uh, kept having this thought, nobody's ever been here before.